it's Halloween. Time to have some fun. Time to put on costumes and masks and try on different personas. Time to have fun with kids of all ages. Time to have some candy and enjoyment and give some. My favorite Halloween memory occurred during the year, the fall of 1980. My kid's dad and I had decided to spend a year exploring the United States while I would speak at 100 different churches around the country. We bought a checker marathon car and a travel trailer, a 28-foot travel trailer with bunk beds and beds that folded out. And we had four children and two cats, and we left Oregon on, a, on an adventure of a lifetime. Now, those four kids, one was 12, one was 13, our older boys. My daughter was barely five, and our youngest son was two and a half. So we set out on this adventure. We went to California first and parked at the state camp in San Clemente. Well, I was learning how to meet with different people and schedule workshops and learn the ropes of something I didn't know yet how to do. During that time, it was now October, and we're at San Clemente State Park. My sons, my older boys, their favorite thing in the afternoon was for us to take them down, or me to take them down to the beach, where they would take their two boogie boards, styrofoam float boards, that they could then ride the waves and have a great time, these two preteen and teenage boys. One night, it's almost Halloween time, and we're having dinner in the little travel trailer, and John all of a sudden goes, oh, my boogie board, I think I left it in the showers where I was taking a shower after we were at the beach. He ran to get the boogie board, and when he came back, he was just all heavy-hearted and down face. And this 13 goes, oh, somebody took the boogie board, it's gone. Now, like that, 50% of the fun they were having at the beach was gone. Well, we didn't have money to buy a new boogie board. They were about $80 at that time. Uh, so it was like, okay, well, we'll just share the boogie board and we'll go look at, at a garage sale, see if we can find one. Well, we're right by the beach. Everybody scoops up a boogie board as fast as they're for sale because everybody wants a boogie board at the beach. So we, days went by and we didn't find a boogie board. And then Halloween came. So we didn't have money for costumes, but we put on some different things and I put makeup and we made faces and we had a good time. We went out trick or treating and people came to the trailer. We gave out the candy, had the kids do that. And we had a good night anyway. And then about a week or so later, it was time, and John was first in line, and he really needed a new pair of tennis shoes. So I took him to the local mall. We went to, like, a footlocker. And while he was getting his new tennis shoes, he's having a conversation with this young 25, 28-year-old sales guy. And they're bonding over football and conversations. And somehow the conversation went to, what do you do for fun while you're down here in California? And John says, well, we love boogie boarding. And then he told the story about losing his boogie board. And this young kid looks at John and goes, you know what? I've gotten into surfing myself, and I have like an almost brand new moray boogie board in my garage. And I'm off in 10 minutes. If your mom will drive you over, I'll bring you to the garage, and I'll give you that boogie board. John's eyes got really big. It's like, really, you're giving me a boogie board? And so we got in the car, and we're following this young kid to his house so he can give John this boogie board. And I look at John, and his eyes are filling up with tears, my 13-year-old. I said, what's going on? And he goes, Mom. And he could hardly get the words out. He says, Mom. You know, just a couple of days ago, I walked in the trailer and nobody was there, and Rich had left all his Halloween candy as he's sorting it, laying out on the upper bunk. And I looked up there and I thought, oh, there's three of my favorite pieces of candy. And I thought, Rich will never know if I take it. And then this voice in me said, but you will know. And I thought, oh, and I didn't take it. And I really think now God's rewarding me because I did the right thing. And so... John got his boogie board, and they went back to their 100% of fun. You know, I told him later, I don't know if God is the one who rewarded him, but what I know for sure is John felt better about himself because he did what he knew was the right thing. No mask can keep us from knowing really who we are. It doesn't matter what the world knows. Deep down, it knows what we know. So we do put on masks at Halloween. We do try on different personas for fun. We create fun with our kids and kids of all ages. But deep down, there's a place inside of us where we know that when we live in integrity with who we really want to be, good things go before us and good things come to us. So at the end of this Halloween video for you, from our family to your family, if you were to knock on our door on Halloween, we would happily open the door and wish you happy damn Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>